before we start, is there anyone in the crowd that is a twin? No one? Except for you, Max. Um, okay. Um, well, I'm Jack Lawhin, and today I'm going to talk about twins. My twin brother is Max Lawhin. We just met him. And Max and I were really close. But all my life, I have had to sh share, care for, look out for, and make room in my life for my friend, brother, my twin. But twins, they're not like regular brothers and sisters. They're the same age, have the same birthdays, which is really rough. <laughs> and so my brother and I, we're always look, looking out for each other. We make the best team ever. We always help each other. Like, for example, I'm, Max is in his lab, and I'm just walking around thinking, maybe I should help my brother. So I go up to him and say, hey, do you want to create a lightsaber? So I create a design. I don't know if it works yet, but <laughs> Max said it looks good. But he said, no, I think I want to create free energy. And I'm there like, lightsaber? Free energy. Kind of leading towards the lightsaber. Big Star Wars fan. <laughs> TEDx is about science and technology. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, what do twins have to do with science and technology? Well, the science side is there are two different kinds of twins. There's identical and fraternal. Identical twins are made from the same zygote but they split inside, creating two, which will, which will in the future become identical twins. Fraternal twins, I'm a fraternal twin, um, they're created a little bit different. They're, it's two eggs inside the uterus that are fertilized at the same time. So fraternal twins are basically two siblings that are born at the same time, just like regular siblings. Twins have a special kind of bond that other siblings don't have. They're the same age, share the same birthday party, they go through life at the same pace. They, you always know what the other one's going through because you're doing the exact same thing. So there's good and bad things about it. The good thing is your twin understands and knows everything about you. And the con is they know and understand everything about you which is kind of hard sometimes. But twins, they're one of the, they're a really hard puzzle to break. So technically, twins are walking enigmas. They haven't figured out why eggs split inside the embryo. It, they don't know why, they don't know how. It just does it, and it just creates a wonder of scientific biology. Twins should be more inspiring to other people if they notice them. More people should notice twins, why they notice why they are alike, why they're different, why just how they're made, like I'm talking to you right now. But there are 32 to every 1,000, I think, 32 twins to every 1,000 people in the world, I think. So and each year, through since they started recording it, since I think was like 1981 or something like that, it's been growing a lot. The amount has exponentially grown. Like I said, twins are like walking in enigmas, but there are probably way more problems about twins that humanity doesn't even know about or haven't discovered yet, which probably will be discovered in the future, like my brother was talking about. I just wanted to thank you all for listening, and uh, I dedicate this to my bro, Max. Um, and thank you for listening. I'm Jack Lawhon, and I'm proud to be a twin. <laughs>